here it is. The glorious high point carbine. Release the gun. Before we get started with the High Point 9mm carbine review, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Kyle with True Shot Gun Club and also to my friend Chris uh, for being in the video, helping film some of the video and adding some humor to the video as well. Thank you very much True Shot Gun Club for letting me borrow this gun for the review. Anyways, let's jump to it. I want to treat this kind of as a real rifle review. I'm not going to go bashing it for no reason. I want to see if this is capable and if this actually has a place in somebody's inventory inventory in somebody's arsenal whatever you call it or for somebody that wants a first gun and does not have a lot of money to spend so this is the high point nine millimeter carbine let's talk about some of the features real fast so on the barrel right here zoom you in you have half by 28 threading so that mounts right up to my suppressors you can put a muzzle device on this if you want whatever you want to do so and right here here's your rear sight post it's pretty big it's got like a little protective cage so I had that really cool furniture I had the vortex uh, razor HD gen 3 suppressor light all that stuff on this just for fun you know for good footage but anyways this entire thing comes off as one assembly there are three screws that hold this in and I forgot to put the middle one in which actually holds the spring-loaded rear sight down so I'm not gonna really work on accuracy testing today but I'm gonna still gonna I'm still gonna show you guys the gun anyways so you've got your bolt handle right back here on the left side of the receiver now first impressions of the high point is it's um it's very plasticky so like big plasticky furniture look at that right back there you have like a spring-loaded stock butt plate right there i'm gonna talk about the positives and that's gonna be the price range for about 275 dollars you can buy one brand new for yourself it does come with plastic it's it's all plastic your picatinny rail on top's plastic uh, right here on the bottom of the barrel is plastic so everything all the furniture is completely plastic on this thing of course you have to remember the price and keeping manufacturing costs down this is a 20 round magazine and it's basically like two 10 round magazines um molded together with a little connector in the middle and it holds 20 rounds so I, I mean I guess it works but uh, goes right in here in the grip Empty. Bolt handle, pull it out to release. So there's no take up on the trigger. Once you start pulling, it basically fires right away. I don't have a trigger weight gauge on me. I'll check that at home. But the trigger, you know, the trigger is actually not that bad. All right, so now I do have my trigger gauge right here. Let's see if we can at least figure out what kind of trigger pull we're dealing with. So I'm gonna cock it back and we're empty. All right, here we go. All right, pulling. 7.7 pounds. Let's try it again. Not a scientist, just an enthusiast. 7.12 pounds, so about a 7.1 pound trigger pull. It's not that bad. It's predictable, it feels predictable. And again, when actually firing it, it, it doesn't feel too bad. It feels a bit spongy. Um, that's because everything kind of has like a little bit of flex and give. There's no take up on the trigger, 
but it still feels spongy. There's not like a crisp break on the trigger. It, even the stock is a little squishy. You have this pad right back here, you know, for that heavy duty nine millimeter recoil. Now, if I didn't know any better, I would say that that was sarcasm. The bolt feels spongy as well. Like when you're pulling it back, there's just a certain like sponginess on there. You feel like you're not actually chambering that round sometimes. Yeah, yeah do, do a nice fast press out again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, <laughs> whenever you're ready. Biggest negative for me on the high point in general is a single stack and a carbine. So a couple benefits to the carbine is being able to shoulder it. The added capacity of a standard carbine, you're gonna get, you know, a 30 round mag or, or something even bigger. You're still stuck with your single stack magazine that's inserted into the grip right here. So as of, I, as of what I know right now, you can get a 20 round magazine like this one. Um, other than that, I think that's what you're limited to. I don't know about the aftermarket accessories for this. I haven't really researched that that much. We did shoot it with the suppressor. and it fired just fine with the suppressor. And then we did shoot it with a scope on it before, as you guys saw in the B-roll. I'll put in some more footage here as well. We were able to consistently plank that target, that steel target, and it worked just fine. So for $275, you're gonna get a functional gun. Now, I don't necessarily think I would buy one for myself just because I have other PCCs and I don't really have the desire to have like a really budget uh, carbine. But if I was in the situation where you want to get a gun just so you have something, if you don't have another PCC, it's it's not a horrible gun. It doesn't feel like a horrible gun. It's um, it's actually kind of fun to shoot, to be honest. It's a big gun. It's kind of I'm not gonna say it's heavy, but it's got some heft to it. So shooting a nine millimeter out of something with heft is actually a really fun experience. I love shooting. That's why I love shooting PCCs, pistol caliber carbines. For you guys that don't know, other than that. It doesn't seem all that bad. We put probably 150 rounds through this thing already and it's it's held up. It hasn't had a single malfunction. We use Russian steel cased uh, nine millimeter rounds. We've used blazer brass. We've used reloaded brass and everything so far. It's just, it's just been eating it. So far so good and I do like it. Minus the things that I mentioned, the grip is very chubby. Plastic right here, all the way down. This is all plastic. This is plastic. The bottom rail is kind of bowed, but that's plastic bottom rail right there. Here's your thread protector. And then plastic rides all the way up. This is metal, this rear sight block right here. And then the stock goes back into a plastic material. And then a spring-loaded little rubber butt rifle butt right there so and then the grip again it's a very chunky um, it's got some finger grooves kind of molded in there as well but it doesn't feel horrible a big fat grip like this on a carbine doesn't feel too bad I've never actually handled a high point pistol before so maybe that's a whole different story well I hope you guys like the little simple review I did with the high point carbine it's not that bad of a firearm actually and for $275 if you don't have a gun and you want to buy something it's not that bad it, it seems to be working just fine not a fan of the single stack magazine, uh, especially in a carbine platform, especially a single stack nine millimeter. I mean, we're not talking about a 1911 here. We're talking about um, a high point nine millimeter. So I would love if they have some kind of added capacity type feature. Uh, I do love the rails everywhere. Um, they're plastic, so that's kind of a drawback, but they are all over the gun. There's a lot of mounting options, and the threaded barrel is also a nice feature. I'm not a big fan of the feel of the grip, the chubbiness of the grip. It, it feels a little weird to me. Otherwise, it seems to fire. I haven't had any malfunctions with it yet. Now, of course, I haven't put thousands of rounds through this, but I have put a couple hundred through. Well, like 150. I can't lie! Nothing crazy, but I've got some other guns I got to review anyway, so we're sharing the ammo today. Little review, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. I really appreciate it, and that's what I got. I'll see you all. Have a good one.